Grand rising. Grand rising. Grand rising, people. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm doing great. So, in this morning's video, guys, we're discussing the process of soul indoctrination. Again, soul indoctrination. The process by which the matrix indoctrinates your soul and siphons your energy. Okay? Now, this process has been ongoing since the beginning of times, guys. Okay? And pre-awakening, you probably had no idea what was going on. Alright, but post awakening, you may start seeing some of these glitches in the matrix. Alright? It's a system, guys, that's designed and operated throughout society. Alright? And the purpose of this system is to what? Take and maintain control of you. Uh, and bind you to the system, okay, to the matrix system, right? A never-ending cycle until you leave the earth, so to speak, okay? Again, the purpose of this system is to take and maintain control of you huh? and subject you to a never ending cycle while you're here on earth until you eventually leave the earth. Pre awakening, you may not be aware, like I, I mentioned earlier, but post awakening, you may start becoming aware of some of these things. If you pay attention, guys, you'll notice that since your birth, you've been subjected to some form of a system whether it's in the home within the family whether it's out within the community uh, within the school system uh, within the corporate world but you notice that you've been subject subjected to a system of some sort okay and it's it usually go in a gradual form okay where you start at a lower level system okay and then you move on up to a higher system another higher system another higher system another higher system another higher system okay now this process is engineered and carried out by narcissists guys all right and that's why you're going, it's almost like a hierarchy, right? You're going from a small system to a larger system to a much larger system to a much larger system to a much larger system. It's like a gradual climb, all right? And the entire time you're being fooled, okay? You're being brainwashed to believe that you're, you're accomplishing something. That's why you progress to this higher system. But the truth of the matter is, guys, you're being enslaved, okay? You're being enslaved and you're being binded to this system, this this system of systems, okay? It's, it's, that's, that's the best way to put it. It's a system of systems, all right? So let's start by looking at the family, where it all starts, okay? You incarnate, guys. By being born, essentially, right? You're, you're born. So, from your birth, guys, okay, you are introduced to the first system, which is what? Your home, your family, okay? Now, as we know, guys, every family has a way of raising their children, of raising their offspring, right? of raising their members. This is how they indoctrinate their members within that family, okay? within that system. This is how 
they indoctrinate them okay by the way that they raise them okay so how does this begin guys as you may already know you've been trained uh, to act a certain way within your family okay you've been trained or you've been raised to be a certain way to represent your family okay and so what are these ways okay you've been trained to act a certain way you've been trained to eat certain foods you've been trained to accept certain beliefs huh? you've been trained to visit certain places or prioritize certain places huh? and also you've been trained against any and everything that goes in opposition to this system okay to this system of belief all right so essentially what this does is it creates a form of competition this is how you become indoctrinated right you start seeing others or anything or any other system outside of that family as opposition okay and so the beliefs of your family are deeply ingrained in you right the beliefs of your of 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 of, of your culture okay and all of those things all right are deeply ingrained in you in order for you not to lose your identity as you leave that family group to venture out into higher the higher systems okay so you can always remember which family you belong to you can always find your way back home essentially okay so it begins with the family if you look at your own family dynamic guys you've been raised a certain way whether you are the the last baby or the first baby or the middle child or whatever whichever part or position that you play within that family you were raised a certain way but anywho guys let's become aware all right this indoctrination process begins at home Okay. It begins at home where you're taught certain things, certain belief systems, okay? And as you begin to accept these things, because what happens is these are the only folks that you know, right? When you were first born, you become used to the folks that are close to you, right? The closest people to you, they're, they're essentially the only people you know. You spend the majority of your time with them. Okay, so you start to believe everything that they teach you, all right? And so it begins at home, all right, where they instill certain beliefs in you, where they instill certain cultural beliefs. It could be cultural, it could be whatever, family, blood, bloodline, whatever, all right? But you are indoctrinated into this family to behave a certain way. Okay, that's the bottom line. You are taught to behave and live a certain way, all right? And so you go from the home to your your next system, which will be what? The school system. The school system is where you begin your grooming process. You are being groomed for the bigger system, essentially, all right? And so in the school system, you are taught to act a certain way towards others, okay? You are introduced to other cultures, other beliefs, okay? And you are taught to act a certain way towards these cultures and these beliefs, all right? And this is what? How you are being shaped and groomed for the bigger systems, okay? And so... You may go from daycare, you learn how to get along with others, how to play and get along with others, and all of those things, how to accept others from different cultures or different backgrounds, all of those things, right? You may learn all of that in daycare. Then you move on up to kindergarten, subject to further indoctrination, okay? You're being groomed for society, right? 
you bring being room for your for the community okay then you go up further okay to grade school where the grooming becomes a bit intense right so you learn you end up learning a lot of things through the school system through the education system all right what we need to understand is that these systems were designed a certain way right by who right have you ever asked who designed your education system that you went through that you followed that you that groomed you that indoctrinated you huh so the education system is designed a certain way all right and it's all designed to fit the matrix all right and then from there you may go to what middle school you're subject to further indoctrination then go to high school where you're being prepared for the world right now after high school now you go off to college it's even more indoctrination now you are being prepared for the corporate world all right so the school system plays a very huge part here all right the education system all right it's where the majority of us get the indoctrination all right the majority of the indoctrination is done through the school system all right another system that's equally similar to the school system is the religious system okay now your family may be part of a certain religion okay whether it's through culture or whatever okay but your family may be a part of they may submit to a certain particular religion, all right? And this is what turns some people off from religion in general because religion was created to divide us, essentially, okay? Because one religion is designed to see another religion as bad okay this is why we have religions that's always opposing one another okay and then on top of that you have subdivisions within one one specific religion okay you have within that one religion competition and subdivision okay where one sect or one area or one group of, in, within that religion is seeing another group within that same religion as bad, okay? So religion was another way that was used to indoctrinate us, guys, to, to, to divide us, okay? To divide us, essentially, okay? So religion, guys, that's another system equal to the education system, all right? that was used for indoctrination because within some cultures or some religions you are raised a certain way you are taught certain things okay most especially like i mentioned earlier you are taught that certain other religions are bad or certain groups within that same religion are bad all right and so your indoctrination continues all right through the education system and also through the religious system, all right? Now we're going to the bigger ones, okay? Now we're going to the corporate world, the second biggest, okay? This is where through high school and through college, you're, you've been prepared for the world essentially, right? So you go out into the world now, you become a member of the corporate world, right? And what happens here, guys, you are taught now, guys, that you have to work a certain amount of hours every single day in order to earn for yourself and your family, okay? At the end of the week, you have to work a certain amount of hours, okay? 
at the end of the month you have to work a certain amount of hours right in order for you to earn a paycheck okay so what's happening here guys you're being groomed even more because your your energy here guys is essentially being siphoned all right and this is where some people some people become aware of this post awakening but some people never do all right if you do become aware guys you will notice that you've been binded to a cycle or you've been subjected to a cycle a never-ending cycle of going to work every day huh you you probably spend the majority of your time at work okay to earn money to pay for a home that you cannot even enjoy okay to earn money to to spend on materialistic things that bring you no 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 inner joy really okay that brings you temporary satisfaction okay so what happens here now is that it's a never ending cycle of what monday through friday working from a certain time to a certain time okay you're waking up at a certain time preparing for work and then working at a certain from a certain time to a certain time getting off of work and then traveling home where by the time you reach home you're so exhausted that you can't really do much of anything but go to bed and repeat the cycle again the next day okay so essentially the only time you get free is the weekend all right your freedom is being taken away from you by these corporate systems all right your energy is essentially being siphoned by these corporate systems all right so you're only free on the weekends and on the weekends you may do some personal things huh? and then you also have your religious obligations that's usually carried out on the weekend okay and during these religious obligations you are also asked to contribute right to contribute some of your earnings from the job so you're putting in all of this time given the majority of your life to the corporate world all right a world that half of the time have no idea who you are essentially did some of these corporate corporations don't even know your name okay some of these corporations have no idea who you are okay you're just a a number to make the count okay so that's how you're indoctrinated even more and then the earning okay you become so accustomed to needing a certain amount of money okay needing a certain amount of money every month that you have to work to generate this certain amount of money because that's a, that's only for you to survive that's the only way you're going to be able to survive okay and so you are subjected to working a certain amount of hours, given a certain amount of your time to earn this certain amount of money every month so you can survive, all right? Now, this could be dependent on where you live. Some countries are not like that, but a lot of countries, guys, a lot of developed countries, guys, they employ this. And you will notice that you are selling the majority of your life Okay, you're selling the majority of your time to earn a paycheck, which you cannot really enjoy because what you're paying it as soon as you get it, you're paying it either to your 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 mortgage uh, people or to your landlord. The majority of it is going to them, all right? Then you have to pay for electric, you have to pay for your telephone, you have if you drive you have to pay for car insurance so you're working to live essentially okay living should not cost you okay it is your birthright but you're 
have to work to survive. You have to work to live. Okay? For something that was given to you as your birthright, now you're having to pay for it. Okay? Because of a system that you've been subjected to. Okay? Because of a, a system that you've been what? Indoctrinated into. Okay? Because of a system that you have become a part of, essentially. Okay? So what's happening here your energy is being siphoned all right to live a normal life guys it's your birthright okay it's your birthright but the system has designed it right a certain way to steal from you all right now let's go from the corporate to the governmental agencies right why is the world designed this way why is is, is it that a good majority of the resources in the world are owned by either big corporations or rich big rich families or big rich individuals or the governmental agencies all right this is done as a way to siphon your energy because you need these resources guys like housing okay you need housing all right and you're gonna have to pay for housing okay and because of this you have to work a lot all right then you need what you need food you need clothing you need all of these other resources right you need if you drive you have to pay for your vehicle pay for your insurance pay for what fuel all of these things okay so the system guys is designed to keep you bound to them all right because you have to work look how now you are building up this system okay how your energy is being siphoned into the system okay you have to work to have a place to stay okay so that's some of your energy going to housing all right the housing is owned by what probably some kind of corporation or some kind of system now you have to buy food okay but probably the place where you're living you're not able to cultivate your own food so you have to shop for food in the market okay again another portion of your energy being siphoned away into the market system all right then fuel of course vehicle you have to pay insurance this that and the other right so everything guys essentially you are having to pay for okay you are having to pay for and in order to pay for these things you will have to go sell a portion of your energy which is your time all right you're having to go sell a portion of your energy to accumulate enough funds to pay for these things all right clothing the same way you have to go out in these fancy stores and spend your earnings on clothes all right and this is where a lot of people become so consumed that they they work so hard that they have to spend that money on these fancy expensive items thinking that's going to make them whole or that's going to make them feel better all right but it only serves them temporarily all right and then there's no there's really no gain there all right because how much stuff can you accumulate over time what can you do with that guys you can't do anything with it all right you can only enjoy it for a very short period essentially okay so let's understand how the system is designed to siphon our energy guys like i mentioned not all countries are like this all right in certain countries you don't have to pay for housing you could just buy a piece of land and build your own housing and don't have to pay taxes or none of that you know in certain countries even after you buy the house you have to pay property tax you have to pay property insurance guys look how the system is just designed to just keep taking from you so let's understand that all right let's understand that the process of indoctrination okay this is how the system grooms you to play into the system okay how the system 
shapes you and molds you to become a part of the system all right and indirectly siphons your energy without you being aware of it all right like i said earlier the controllers of these systems are usually the ones who gain from your energy okay because as you work uh, as you give so much of yourself to earn or whatever the case you end up paying it back to the controllers of these systems and so let's understand that guys they become more powerful they become more richer huh and you stay poor no matter what okay because as you earn it's being siphoned right on away okay so let's understand that all right the process of indoctrination all right it was designed to 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 mold us to shape us huh and to groom us into becoming a part of a system that's not built for us all right again the process of indoctrination was designed to shape us to mold us to groom us uh, into becoming a part of a system that's not designed for us okay that's designed to actually harvest our energy all right it begins in the home guys all right from the home then it's pushed through the educational systems okay then it's pushed through religious systems all right then it's pushed through the corporate world and eventually the governmental entities all right but let's understand all right if you look deeper guys you realize that the majority of our leaders uh whether it be corporations or within the government are all narcissistic guys okay the majority of the policies and all of that are all narcissistic in nature guys okay and it's all designed to, to keep the top at the top and the bottom at the bottom serving the top. Okay? Again, it's all designed to keep the top at the top and keep the bottom at the bottom serving the top. Okay? Because they're siphoning your, your little bit of energy. Little by little until there's nothing left. And then you end up leaving because you would work your entire life, guys and accumulate whatever it is that you accumulate and when you retire now that's what they tell you to do right work and then retire at old age and enjoy your life but when you retire you can't you notice that sometimes the, the, the your retirement income is not even enough for you to live let alone enjoy what is it that you're working for hmm? your retirement income is not even enough for you to live Okay, you could barely pay for your, your, your expenses with your retirement income. So where, where what were you waiting for to enjoy life? Hmm? Anywho, guys, I'm blabbing. Let me leave this here. Until next time, guys, peace, love, and more life.